Hey everyone, what with Brexit and President Trump hogging the headlines, sometimes it's easy to forget that there's a whole world of news out there, and I don't mean the sports section of the paper, or the advertising bit selling either made to measure chinos or perhaps premium rate naughty phone numbers depending on your newspaper of choice. I thought this week we'd look elsewhere and talk about two other things that happened in the world this week. First of all to Zimbabwe, and here's a joke for you, how does Robert Mugabe like his eggs in the morning? The answer is, with the whites separated and beaten. But what's he been up to since he stepped down as president last year? Well, this week it turned out that he'd been the ironic victim of theft. A briefcase was stolen from him containing a million dollars in cash. Then they even turned out to be US dollars, not Zimbabwean ones. So all in all, pretty serious, really. Certainly if he was planning on using the money to get his driveway tarmac to cash in hand, you'd expect it to be long enough to show up in Google Maps. The thieves apparently made off and spent the money on a Toyota Camry, a Honda, some livestock and a house. So all in all, a mixed and dare I say, astute portfolio of assets. Between their investments, savvy and propensity for crime, I dare say that if they don't go to jail, they do pretty well in Zimbabwean politics. Next to Macedonia, or should I say, the Republic of North Macedonia. After the country changed its name this week, following decades of disputes over the name with neighbouring country Greece, which will now presumably be able to throw all its legal weight at its dispute with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Greece has long claimed ownership over the name. It's got a northern region which it calls Macedonia, and the country to the north of that for the past 20 or so years has formerly been titled the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, which I imagine is either an era in history, which means nothing to you if you're young, or it's tarred with bad memories if you're old and lived through the communist era. Very much like Jeremy Corbyn's policy handbook, really. And very much like Jeremy Corbyn, Greece can now get back to running its economy on the profoundly misinterpreted premise that, quote, debt pays off in the long run. It's a joke, guys. Anyway, see you next week. Feel like these, click subscribe.